This road show of Prime Minister happening right now in Kochi. Remember, he is on a two-day visit to Andhra Pradesh and Kerala starting today. Earlier in the day, he was in Nepakshi in Andhra Pradesh where he visited uh, a temple, Nepakshi temple, which is known for its connection with the Ramayana. And these are visuals from Kochi. He also goes to Guruvayu tomorrow where he is set to attend the wedding ceremony of uh, Suresh Gopi, who is also part of the BJP. He is an actor. And uh, this is uh, the Prime Minister's second visit uh, to Kerala in the last two weeks. Remember, this is Prime Minister's uh, big southern push with Lok Sabha elections just weeks away, just months away. Uh, this is the BJP's way of telling the south of India that it is equally serious about southern states as it is about the north of India. So, as you can see, it's a beautiful road show. और किस तरह से लोग जोरदार स्वागत करते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का केरल के कोची से ये तस्वीरें हम आपके साथ साझा कर रहे हैं आपको बता दें कि इससे पहले प्रधानमंत्री सुरेश गोपी इज एन एक्टर बीजेपी एंड देर इज ऑल्सो स्पेक्यूलेशन दैट ही कुड बी गिवन बीजेपी टिकट दिस टाइम नरेंद्र मोदी सेकेंड विजिट टू केरला इन द लास्ट टू वीक्स रिमेंबर ही वॉज इन फ्रिशोर a week ago where he attended a huge rally of women and talked about his welfare schemes for women voters my colleague pratibha raman joins us pratibha tell us about the significance of today's uh, visit of the prime minister uh, to kochi what are the what are the programs that he has lined up well in fact as soon as he landed he has already embarked on uh, a road show which is which will be uh, on for a 1 km stretch and prime minister modi would be heading to the guest house starting his uh, road show from the maharaja college and uh, this uh, road show is also extremely significant because the bjp has been uh, uh, trying to make a headway in the southern states and start with uh, यहाँ पर साझा कर रहे हैं और ये सीधी तस्वीरें हम आपके साथ गुरुवायूर टेम्पल इन त्रिशूर डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच इज वन ऑफ द प्रोमिनेंट लोकसभा शबरीमलाम All of this in mind, PM Modi as well as the BJP are looking at a bottom-up approach, starting from the southern state of Kerala, and trying to see whether this uh, southern connect would actually boost the BJP morale as well. And uh, this is for holding a meeting with the boot-level workers. So this is definitely seen as an attempt to strengthen the cadre. Uh, right, Pratibha. You know, Christian vote is also very significant here, and the Prime Minister is in Kochi uh, today. He's going to be in Trishur tomorrow, uh, and just a few days, uh, uh, at least. You know, we saw during Christmas that he did meet a group of Christian clergy and you know uh, church leaders. So clearly, there is an outreach on that front. But uh, while last time the uh, rally's importance was uh, the political messaging, because he did attend a huge rally with with women supporters today, it's going. to be a lot about development because we he's going to talk about the shipping yard and of course uh, uh, development facilities the repair uh, yard that uh, the center is investing in so clearly this is also a message of development that he wants to send out to, to the voters of kerala And in fact, what uh, I really noticed uh, the entire day was uh, the political messaging in terms of uh, the kind of Modi guarantees that have been provided. That has been one of the poll campaigns that have been used, uh, especially in uh, Kerala and as far as the southern connection is concerned with respect to the 2024 uh, election. And uh, secondly, yes, Christian voters do play a significant role in Kerala because they form at least around 18 percent of uh, the total population. So uh, in the first First visit, we saw Prime Minister Modi making an attempt or uh, reaching out to the women voters, and this time he uh, has been significantly trying to make an attempt to reach uh, 
the Christian voters and uh, even Suresh Gopi uh, for uh, the daughter's wedding uh, had recently gifted a crown to one of the churches as well. So this is also uh, some of the moves that have been made by uh, the BJP's uh, potential candidates as well as the Prime Minister trying to see if they could uh, uh, lure all the voters together and uh, uh, encompass them to ensure that the BJP would secure its vote bank for the Lok Sabha election. And uh, the third aspect would also be that uh, the BJP is trying to emerge as the third alternative to the left as well as the Congress in uh, Kerala. In several of the constituencies, they've emerged as the runner-up as well. So, especially the Tiruvannathapuram constituency where Shashi Tharoor has been bagging the winning spot uh, in that constituency, but then uh, the runner-up has always been the BJP. So, these are some of the factors that are falling in favor of uh, the BJP and the BJP is trying to leave no stone unturned as far as 2024 is concerned. Katiba, how is the opposition looking at it? Because we just spoke about politics and the timing of this visit is again very interesting because this is just a week before the grand consecration of uh, the Ram Temple in Ayodhya and we did see that both the Nair uh, Society, NSS and the Eva Societies have come forward in Kerala and they've in, in some way said that the stand that the Congress has taken is not right and they've said that, you know, it is for the faithful to visit the temple. So, uh, Prime Minister's visit to Kerala is also coming at a time when the Congress fight, fights itself in, in, in some sort of a spot in Kerala. The, uh, you know, at least the Chief Minister has finished his yatra but clearly do you see that the BJP sees the timing as uh, of advantage to its politics. Well, in fact, uh, this uh, Ram Mandir inauguration has definitely been one of uh, has definitely been one of the most uh, d- defining moments for the BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha election, and they are trying to stand up on this because there's only six days left to the Ram Mandir inauguration, and we are already seeing Prime Minister Modi visiting the temples, one in Nashik, and uh, the second one today we saw him enter uh, the temple of. Uh, uh, Virabhadra in uh, Lepakshi in Andhra Pradesh. These are some of the places that hold a great amount of significance as far as uh, the epic of Ramayana is concerned. Uh, with respect to the Lepakshi, that is the place where uh, Jedayu had uh, fallen after protesting with Ravana when Ravana had uh, uh, lifted uh, Goddess Pita from the abode of uh, Lord Rama. And uh, that's, that is also the place where Jadayu landed and uh, uh, gave the instruction to uh, Lord Rama in terms of the direction in which Ravana had left. So that is one of the aspects uh, as far as the government's nomination is concerned. And tomorrow he is heading to uh, the Guruvayur temple and also visiting another Rama temple uh, in the same district of uh, Trishul. So this is one of the key aspects uh, which uh, the right. is trying to hold on to in terms of securing the Hindu vote bank as well. Right. And in terms of uh, Kerala, they right. also see how they can cash in on the development yes. projects, the women are being tapped and... Right. The- Thank you, Pratibha, for joining us with those details. So that's Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Kochi today. He goes to Trishur and Gurwayu tomorrow. This is the Prime Minister's second visit to Kerala in the last two weeks. That's